I'd say this tournament has woken up. <laughs> <laughs> I say so. Patrick no. McEnroe no. and Chrissy Everett alongside. I'm Chris McKendry. Judging by the last time they met, Chris and Mary Jo referenced it throughout the match. The U.S. Open, 44 minutes, 15 points. That's all Serena surrendered. How stunning is this? Well, and Wong Chong said that she went back to the drawing board and knew she had to make some improvements. And some. By gosh, she did. And. <laughs> I, I, I'm just shell-shocked that she came back after losing mm. that second set. Yeah. You would think that she would be depleted, but she reset and came back, and she has one cool customer, isn't she? Well, she she did handle that losing the second set incredibly well. You know, we saw what makes Serena so great, what's made her so great, and the fact that she was able to find a way to win that second set when it looked like she was going to go out in straight sets quickly. But I think we also saw, at least I saw, in the final set, what's holding Serena back now at the moment, which is it's almost like she wants it too much. She wants it so badly. Now, I picked Serena to win the tournament. I thought she would win it. But when I saw in the last round how super intense she got midway through that second set of a win, I said to myself, you know what? I don't, I'm not sure she can do it because she's expending so much emotional energy point yeah. in point out it's like she's she can't quite just relax and go with it i mean again that's part of what's made her great is that intensity but i think at this point in her career it's hurting her well it, you, it's interesting you say that because i i agree that after the second set i was thinking to myself you know she, she still has it i mean she gets herself out of holes yeah. with her serve with these unbelievable sh gets that she has but one thing she's not doing is she's not continuing her momentum when she won that second set, I thought, oh, it's gonna, she's going to race off to a three-love lead. But no, she lets up a little bit, even when she's winning. And that momentum, she used to carry it. And if this was five years ago, I think she would have won the third set 6-2. Yeah, I also think yeah. five years ago, her opponent might have pulled away, might have true. fallen away. All Opponents don't do that anymore. They stay in there going toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Patrick, let me ask you. I asked Chrissy because we were watching the match together with an eye on Caroline's match as well. And I said, is Serena a more emotional player now mm -hmm. as she gets older than when she was younger? Well, I think you're right. No, I think that's exactly sort of the point I was making is that she's letting her emotions, I think, get the best of her in mm -hmm. these situations. And when you get to be this age, whether you're Roger Federer, her sister Venus herself, you have to, you have to manage your emotions a little bit better because when you're younger, you can just kind of empty the bucket and you have that unbelievable intensity. And I think we're seeing that also the fact that she's not playing that many other events yeah. is hurting her in the big tournaments, even though she did win in Auckland, but she didn't play since the U.S. Open. And so the pressure is just mounting because she wants 24 so badly, and the slams are so much different. You know, for Federer, for Djokovic, for Nadal, they take the other tournaments about as seriously as they take the, the majors. So when they get to the majors, it's not like a big shock to the system. They're playing them similarly to they play week in, week out. For Serena, I think it's so markedly different that the pressure is getting to her in the majors more than it did in the past. I think it's a double-edged sword, though, because um, I think on the one hand, you want to be match tough, but on the other mm -hmm. hand, you also you want to be fresh. fresh. Yeah, yeah. And I think that's the approach she takes. She still does all the workouts in the gym and her fitness level and on the court but she feels that she can work her way into a tournament with two or three matches. That's why she played a warm-up tournament. But, but when I, yeah, but when I, and when I actually look at the way she's been playing, she, I, I think she's moving better. I was concerned after the second set. She was huffing and puffing, working incredibly hard physically to, to win that second set. I actually was sitting with Pam. We were watching. I said, do you think she's got enough left in the tank for the third set, meaning Serena? She did have enough left in the tank, so the fitness is there. Yeah. The game seems to be there. I mean, she's hitting the ball pretty well. She's making some sketchy decisions, though, I think. It's some of the shots she's going for broke too early in points. And again, I think it's just wanting it so badly that she's not thinking as clearly as she can out there when it's, she's in the heat of the moment. You know, you, it, yeah. you mentioned match play, needing match play. Remember last year when Federer reintroduced the French Open to his schedule? Right. Everyone thought, it's oh, it's a, is it a goodbye tour? No, I want more match play heading into the summer and into Wimbledon, which is so important to him. Just something maybe she wants to think about. She's been so close trying to get number 24. We take a look back over the past Grand Slams, but she's gotten to finals. It's been four finals. Now, wow, that third round here today is really glaring. You know, I mean, even the top guys. I mean, Federer loses all the time in tournaments, right? He comes back. We're going to remember these big ones. Serena got to stay positive. She's absolutely, to me, 
looks good enough to still win big tournaments and win well, majors. Well, and the other thing is, I'm looking at her stats. She won 70% of her first serves and just 50% of her second. Usually she wins more. Um, her percentage is higher. But at the same time, when they got into a rally, you know, Wang Chiang was winning most of the rallies. Mm -hmm. She was, she, I think she was moving a little bit better than Serena. Mm -hmm. She cer certainly was hitting the ball with a lot of pace. But the belief in herself is what is surprising to me, the, how she could win one game against her the last time they played and then right. all of a sudden beat her. That's not many players can do that. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content plus live streaming, make sure to subscribe to ESPN Player.